to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to help you find more joy and empowerment from your wig journey. Today we're going to talk about some Wig Pro colors. Sometimes this helps crack the code so that you know exactly what color you want to choose for your next Wig Pro style purchase. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of reds and a couple of gray shades. Be sure to mark, bookmark this video so that you can return to it as needed when you're shopping for your favorite wig pro style. All, the, all of the featured wig styles were sent to me directly from Wig Pro in cooperation with Wig Studio One for this review. All of the wig styles that you see here today can be found at Wig Studio One. And Wig Pro styles at Wig Studio One are always a 30% automatic discount at checkout. So once you add it to your cart, that 30% will come off. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. So today we're gonna to take a look at some reds and a couple of gray shades for you. Wig Pro has some beautiful colors. Uh, if you haven't caught my videos on the, the blondes, Wig Pro Blondes Showcase, and we also have a Wig Pro Brunettes Showcase. Be sure to check those out. Kind of gives you a feel for how Wig Pro does their colors. They take great care and they're very mindful. Um, there's a lot of colors to really be very versatile and satisfy a number of clients. There's some that are just slightly highlighted, nothing too dramatic, and then we have others that have more dramatic highlighting. So there really is something for everyone. So let's check out our reds first. I know you've been eyeing this because I can't take my eyes off of it either. <laughs> I'm wearing the style Joy, which is a long beach wave style with a lace front and a full monofilament top. I have a full review out there on this style, but it's in the color of Flame, F-L-A-M-E. And I think that's very appropriate because it just looks like fire, doesn't it? Just very eye-catching and beautiful. And this is one of those colors, you're just gonna see lots and lots of layering of color. But on this uh, color, you're going to start with a medium red-brown or an auburn. So a medium auburn, you'll see some light auburn in there as well. But then really what sets and makes this color, just really gives it identity, is the fact that you're going to see a light, a light bright coppery blonde highlight. That to me just makes it pop, just like flames licking up through all of this hair. And then you have some fine ash blonde highlights as well. And those are a little harder to spot because overall, this is obviously a very warm color. It's not a rooted color. Okay, I have one more red to show you, and it's just, it's, it's another gorgeous one. Over here, uh, we're gonna take a look at 32130. So here is that 32130 as it's applied to the style Olivia. Olivia is a gorgeous short to mid length, very modern bob style cut. This is one of the newest additions to the Wig Pro line as of now. Um, lots of modern layering here. It's very low density, it's very wispy, the fibers are, there's very low permatease. It has a lace front left monofilament part. But let's dig into this color, another beautiful one. This is, the 32130 starts with a deep wine auburn or cherry looking auburn. And then that's highlighted with more of a medium coppery auburn. So that coppery auburn really just sets it, doesn't it? It brings uh, depth and dimension to the color, but not going too light. So there's no blonde in this, like you can sometimes see with the coppery mix. This is more of that cherry auburn with some coppery auburn highlights. It is not a rooted color. And sometimes your wine, your deep wine colored auburns can come across more cool or burgundy. In this case, I feel like this is warm just because of the coppery highlighting. But what another brilliant red. So they don't have a lot of reds in their palette, 
but the ones they do have are stunning, aren't they? So now it's time to move on. We're gonna talk about some grays. Um, I only have one true gray shade by Wig Pro, but I'm also going to show you a couple of more, a couple more that could sort of pass as being gray shades. They're more of transitional. Uh, they're very ash and cool in tone. But the first we're gonna look at is the true gray. And that is back here on the style Ellen in the color 92. So here's the color 92, which is a true gray silver color by Wig Pro. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous as it is applied to this style called Ellen. Ellen is a short, shaggy little cut. I absolutely adore this gray on this style. Uh, people that wear grays like to have a little fun and sass in their hairstyles. So this one isn't too conservative. Beautiful little choppy, shaggy pixie style with a lace front, a mono crown, some permatease so you can fluff up the volume a little bit. But Ellen has always been um, a beautiful style to wear and very easy to wear as well. So let's dig into this 92. 92 is, you're going to see um, some, some dark brown, but more of that uh, pewter color, which is a blue-based deep gray, slate gray. And then it's highlighted with this silver, this light silver color. And the silver is more prevalent around the forehead. Um, and then it's blended throughout, but it just seems like there's a bit more of it right here at the front. And everybody grays a little bit differently, but I think this one looks really, really natural, how the, uh, the colors are dispersed. I was really shocked that I like this gray so much. You know me, I'm not much for grays. So many of you are really gonna like this too because there's no root. You see a lot of beautiful grays out there and then when there's a really dark root, um, it just doesn't meet your needs anymore. So I'm really pleased to say this one does not have a root, but it is very dynamic. It looks just like a natural gray process going on here. Uh, a little bit of salt and pepper, but more salt in the front. Some browns, some blue base silver, and some very light white silver. Next, I wanna show you a couple of colors that could go, they could, they could be grays, they could be blondes, they could be brunettes. Let's take a look. The first one I wanna show you is on the style uh, Connie, and it's the 1822. So here's Connie, it's a short little, a uh, shaggy style pixie cut, lots of volume, lots of permatease, just an open cap, so it's easy just to shake and go. In the color, 1822. Now this 1822 is a light ash brown base color, but then it's heavily highlighted with an ash platinum. And that ash platinum really solidifies this as a cool color. And I think it would be appropriate for a transition into gray. It has that salt and peppery look because there's so many platinum highlights there. It's not rooted, it almost looks like there is a root just because of all of these light uh, highlights next to the darker ash brown. So if you're looking for that color to transition from blonde or brunette, more into the grays or silver mixes, this might be a great one to start with. So here we have the 17101 as it's applied to Olivia. Um, now this one they call more of a fade brown, but the mixture that's here could easily, easily pass for, for a very dynamic gray shade. So again, I think we're looking at that uh, very watery looking ash, light ash brown, and then that's heavily highlighted with an ash platinum or a toned platinum. The effect is quite silver looking, even though there's no silver or gray in it. Now this one again is not rooted, but very dimensional as you can see. I have seen this color on lots of different skin tones. It seems to be very flattering to both warm and cool skin tones alike. 
I love how they take the platinum highlight right up to the lace front on this Olivia style. But as you can see, this is the reason why I'm showing it to you with the grays. It's just because I want to give you as many options as possible. If you're looking to transition to gray from blonde or brunette, this would be perfect. Um, if you're already gray and you just want to shake it up a little bit with some dimension, some warmer dimension than the flat out gray, this would also be a great choice. Thank you so much for joining me today for a look at the Wig Pro Reds and Grays. If you have any questions for us again, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. Be sure to take a look at all of the links below where you can explore all of the Wig Pro styles and colors. And I will just continue my Wig Pro series showing you all of the latest and greatest from that brand. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you soon on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.